Happy Monday, guess who I'm on a date with? Oh, coolest kid in town. And guess what? We're sitting outside eating because it is so nice and warm and it feels like it's 67 we today. We to swimming pool. You think so? It's, my car said 67, 68. It's feeling pretty, pretty hot. What'd you get to eat? What'd you get to eat? Look at those cute shoes. He got a salad, good boy. I got a sweet pork salad. That's a lot of salad. That's a very beautiful picture, right? Lots of green and we got some chips and guac. Cooper gets out an hour early on Mondays. He's doing an early release. So we came to get salad. So for his baseball game today. You mean a scrimmage? Scrimmage. But you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit it over the fence, huh? <laughs> we don't have a fence. Well, if you did, would you hit it over the fence that far? I would try. Here's a napkin, sweetie. I would try. And I got a Monday manicure. It just was feeling black, you know, black like my dress. Five Nights at Freddy's clues. Yeah, you love Friday, Friday, was it Five Nights at Freddy's? Yes! OMG, so sassy. There's three games, and I think Scott Collins gonna quit. Why? Mm. You don't know? I found out Bonnie's Wait, not... Wait, go ahead. I found out in the third game, Bonnie's not in it. Really? Yeah, he's in the two ga other games. What does that mean? Mm. Like, Spring Trap is a character's name. Oh. Yeah. So, Spring Trap probably used the animatronics parts. So. I feel like you're speaking a foreign language. Yeah. Anyways, if you guys have any Cafe Rios next to you, you should go eat there because they're so delicious. And guess who got tickets if you guys know what I'm talking about. Cool if you don't. Also cool. But I'm going to the Sunday afternoon um, conference session in Salt Lake City. So if you guys are going to the conf to conference this Sunday, come and say hi to me. I'm so excited because I've never been. And if you guys don't know what conference is, I will leave a link for you below. And you can watch what we believe on TV this Sunday. It's four hours of um, talks from some of the biggest leaders of our church. It's kind of cool because you get to have church from home in your sweatpants. Or if you're like me and you get to go see them in person, you get to buy, have an excuse to buy a cute dress, right? That counts, right? Right. Okay, this is what happens when you have a zit <laughs> like this. A big one, you ask your child to do it. Oh, it's not even doing anything. You're just pushing it into my skin. Ow! <laughs> Ow okay, it's I know. so big. Kate, you're just hurting me now. Is this so attractive? Ow! <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> this is real life. I'm just keeping it real. Carly Stiles Winnie is looking at me. Ow! It hurts so bad. I'll do it. No, it's like a... Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a bug bite. I don't think that can be real. <laughs> See, guys, everyone gets it. Ew, your hand is wet. Did you lick it? You big mm, sicky. That's huge. Ew, you Rudy. Watch, Cooper. Okay, try to pit, pop it I'll one more time. It. But don't do it with your Watch nail. You, how do I do it? Just with your. I'm going to get so many boyfriends after this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you Ow! <laughs> Ow! You're making it so big. <laughs> I was, oh, yeah, ma'am, I was just wondering if you need your car washed. I was going to give you a little detail in on the car, the car washing. <laughs> oh, man. I could do a whole dance routine with this. Are you ready for it? <laughs> Is that good? No? Okay. This smells like lemons. We're, we're detailing the car. Should we show? You guys want to see a full view of my car? There's Whitney. Hey, you look so fly. You guys, look at the Kia Optima. We gotta clean the grill. I'm really wanting to get an SUV. Should I do it? I need some more space. What if I have more kids one day? One day. Um, we've been going on all the drives, all the road trips, so we've been having to clean the car. Right now I'm vlogging and cleaning. Is that really good? Up, down. Huh? Oh, she's gonna, no, it's okay. You can stay. Hey, hanging out with us. I'm gonna give you tips, okay? You scrub the wheels. You just scrub them. You scrub off all the buggies because they won't come off. <laughs> Is that funny? No? When he gave me that. So funny. When he walks, walk to the people. 
Guys, we're not, and people who think we're a couple clearly never had a best friend or someone that they enjoyed spending time with. So I feel sorry for you. Really, that's the moral of that story. I'm praying for all I'm praying for all the bugs that are just smushed on my car. I'm really, really sorry I ran you over. It was really an accident. There's a lot. Do you see them all guys? There's a big bee in there. Good thing there's no butterflies. I feel the worst about the butterflies. Butterflies? I don't know if I like off them. Baseball. He doesn't have a scrimmage today. He just has practice. So we're going to get some footage of him hitting after we're done washing the car. Okay, love you. Oh, hey, guys. Oh. Whitney, my other half. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, remember when um, a lot of you have been asking who Whitney is? And I don't know if just because some of you aren't caught up on my vlogs. But she, I have hired her to come from Canada into my life and help me take over the world in social media domination. Remember when Brett worked for Shay? And remember when Allie worked for Shay and they're in the vlogs a lot? And remember when, I don't know who else worked for Shay, but that's basically, that's what Winnie does. She helps me some videos, she helps me edit, she handles brand deals, she helps me on social media stuff. Um, she's trying to put together cool giveaways for you guys. And just grow the numbers and help me because I'm a single mom. I have to deal with all that. All that right there. This messy room. And sometimes I just need a little bit of help. And that's what this beautiful woman is doing. Look, she's over there just working her butt off right now. All the emails. All the butts. All the emails. So she comes and goes from here to Canada and hangs out with us. So you guys, just be kind. Be kind and love her. She's not my other half. I'm sorry. Some of you are hoping for that. Not hating on that, just... It's not working out. Her and I would just fight too much. <laughs> yeah, that's true. What are you doing? Sorry, are you guys getting whiplash? Hey. You're so cute. I love you. How was baseball? Good. What'd you do? We played catch today, huh? I played catch barehanded. You missed it. I missed it? A you lot. Okay, so then I just also tweeted out, because today's just kind of been like a catch-up day on laundry and that, so we haven't gotten much footage. I tweeted out Q&A for the day, and we're going to answer a couple of them. Sorry. Cooper, stop building a house over there. You're being very loud. Um, Anna Christina, at Anna Christina, asks, important question. How, do, how to still have faith in this crazy world? <laughs> do you know what faith is? Can uh, you tell them what truth? you think? That's a good one. What else? Oh, you're on my toe. Um... Faith. If you have faith in something. You were st True. literally standing on my toe still. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> truth, um, you said responsibilities? that. Responsibilities? <laughs> Someone needs to go to church. <laughs> Y'all need Jesus in your life, I'm saying. <laughs> What'd you say? Faith? Yeah, you do. Like, I don't know, humble. <laughs> humble, that's a good one. Um, okay, so faith is, I mean, it depends on what you believe in, but faith is a belief. So maybe you're not even having faith in necessarily like a religious thing, like, but faith in this crazy world, meaning faith in good people, faith in healthy relationships, faith in people just doing what's right. Um, I think if I didn't have my faith, I would nothing. I would have nothing to hang on to because faith is that little thing at the end of the day that just keeps you hanging on when you feel like there's nothing, there's not much left to hang on to. And some days you feel like you don't have a lot to hang on to, but I don't know. How do you still have faith in this crazy world, Wit? Oh, wow. That's, that's a deep one. So deep. All the deeps. Because if I didn't, I don't know what else, like, what would the point be of, of life and, like, existence or even, like, your connections with other people or anything. I feel like Amen. faith is this driving force that makes me feel like I have purpose, which makes me want to get up every day and do something with my life that betters myself and other people. Like, yeah, otherwise I don't get, I just wouldn't get the point. Amen. So hang in there. Um, somebody asked something similar. Marin asks, how do you stay positive when life seems very terrible? I'm just pulling these right from Twitter. Um, I feel like you have to, I have a wristband that my friend gave me and I'm going to show you. It says, what does it say? It says always, no, it's, and you guys will see me wear this. It says always half full. And that is true because everything can always get worse, but you could always find something to be positive about in your life. I love, you guys know, I'm a quote, quoting guru. I love posting them quotes. Quotes help me, good music, working out, oh, the power of endorphins, don't under, underestimate them. Um, but stay positive. If you don't feel like 
everything's going right, I dare you to try and make a list. I bet you can come up with 10. That would be my dare to you. Um, Allison Mastroni, I hope I said that right, Allison, she says, what are your future plans for Trixon? So right now, um, I'm really grateful that Brie and Derek have come on to Trixon because they're handling all the back end and the customer service and all the stuff that's happening in Logan, Utah, which is hard because, you know, all the work's happening down there when I live in Pocatello and all over the world right now. But um, I just want to, I think the more that Trixon comes together and the more we grow, the more everybody will kind of find like, Cooper, that flying of the dragon is really loud. The more that Trixon develops, the more that we'll all kind of find our individual roles as what we are. This is what Dexon um, says when he plays. <laughs> Dexon. Um, but I feel like my role will just be really designed for women. Um, we went and had a meeting today in Blackfoot of a, with a cut and sew company, which is amazing. So this is where we can branch out from the t-shirt, sweatshirt, beanie, snapback type of look and put something more a little bit um, stylish together. I'm, we made some maxi dresses. Talked about making a long sleeve maxi dress that will be available in winter as well as like a tank top one. Um, as well as some just cute t-shirts, a boyfriend cut t-shirt with a cute little pocket and then a high-low um, t-shirt that's going to be cut in the back. One thing that's hard is you design for five months in advance. So everything that I'm designing and piecing together and getting fabric for now will not be available for four to five months and that's how like that whole world works. So when it comes to fashionable things um, in this world, you really have to stay ahead of the curve, which is hard to do because um, I have ideas that I've picked that I'm like, no, I want these right now. So stay patient with that, but I'm excited because that means more stylish stuff is coming. Also, my friend Annie is designing some jewelry for Trixon, which is huge. She just sent us over a sample piece. Woo woo. And we're really excited about that. Sydney asks, hey Sid, how was your cheer competition? How'd you do? She asks, favorite ride at Disneyland and favorite treat to get there. Favorite treat to get there is the cream cheese stuffed pretzels. OMG, they're so healthy, but they're the best. And favorite ride would either be Peter Pan or Pirates of the Caribbean or the Haunted Mansion. What's yours? Here we go. Think fast. I was going to do Splash Mountain. Splash Mountain? Yeah. Wait, what's yours? What? Uh, for where? Disneyland. Oh, I don't even remember. I I remember the Tower of Terror. I liked that. The Tower of Terror. I have not, guys, I've not been in like since I was like fifteen. That's a young. That's at a young age. I need to go um, back. I need to go back. Last go. question of the night. Who shall we choose? Who shall we choose? Um, what's the next thing or goal you want to achieve after running? I might run another marathon today. I started, or yesterday, I started thinking that I should run the Pocatello Marathon because I'm from Pocatello. Maybe I'll just run the half, but I want to at least sign up for a couple this summer. Apparently, Trixon family is doing a CrossFit competition. I did not put myself down for that for sure. Apparently, Shay did, so I guess I should get in shape for that. Um, anyways, Cooper's just breaking everything mm -hmm. in the room, so I'm going to go manage that. We're going to go have some family home evening. I love you guys. Thanks for watching today's vlog. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing a basic look for makeup on Whitney's face and going over some products that I use on my face that I cannot live without. So I hope you like the vlog. Sorry I missed on Saturday, but I love you and we only missed once. One vlog so far in March. Yeah, We've done well. Only because of the Wi-Fi, guys. Yeah. Only because of the Wi-Fi. The cabin Wi-Fi was as slow as the tree sap falling down like, the pines. Like eight hours to get it yeah, up and then eight hours. Crash, so. so then I was like, whatever. Um, and then also, if for all of you who hung out with me last night on You Now, that was so fun. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't get to all your comments. They were literally just flooding so fast I couldn't read them. But we're going to be doing them every Sunday night. Hashtag Sunday Styles. Come hang out with us. I'll tweet ahead it's and Monday. let you guys know. Um, it is Monday. Captain Obvious. Um, <laughs> but every Sunday night we're going to be doing that. That is not okay, a flattering angle. you do that, I'll do this. Cooper, go clean up the room. Okay, love you. Bye!